What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. Today, we're at Dealer's Auto Auction of Oklahoma City. We're doing things a little bit different in this series of videos because the content at the other yards is the same. There doesn't seem to be a lot of cars coming and going at those yards. So I didn't want to repeat content. So we decided to do something different and come to a different location today. I'm going to show you around. We're going to go through some of the cars, but this lot also, which is usually packed to the brim, is almost empty in comparison to what it was just six months ago. If you take a look around, you can see how empty this lot is. Now, don't get me wrong, they still have a lot of cars to choose from, but the way it used to be, all of this would have been absolutely full. It would have been completely packed. And over there at the very end where you guys probably can't see, there would be lines of cars going everywhere because tomorrow is auction day. And that's just not the case. So I've noticed my cars are selling for a lot less than they should be. I've noticed that dealerships are just desperate to get rid of vehicles now. They own them for more money than they're worth. So they have to sell them at a loss or they have to hold on to them and hope that the market bounces back. And here's the auction, my local dealer auction, where they try to get rid of them. We're going to start out this video today with a 2017 Honda Civic SI, which I really, really like. So here it is, 2017 Honda Civic SI with 82,900 miles on the odometer. We're gonna kinda walk around and see if you guys notice anything wrong with it before I start nitpicking it. I like this car and it's something I'm gonna put on my list. I'm actually looking to buy some more cars. I recently sold quite a few, including the SEMA Mustang. So there is some money back in good old AAR's bank account <laughs> where we might actually be able to pick us up a little bit of content. I've always wanted one of these. This one's a little bit rough, but that's perfect for the channel because it needs some repairs. At first, when I walked up to it, I didn't realize this was a carbon fiber hood. I thought maybe it had been in an accident and somebody just replaced the hood. Now getting closer, it is a carbon fiber wrap on the hood. It's a little chipped up right here. You've got the grill popping out up here too. So she's been, she's been damaged a little bit. Not too bad though. We got a busted fog light down here. This tire is a Goodyear Eagle Sport. It's in pretty good shape. I immediately noticed the windshield is cracked. You guys probably can't see that, but it is cracked all across, all over. There's a impact zone right there, cracked it all over here. This tire is in pretty good shape too. There's a wire hanging out probably for some kind of an underglow light going on under there. We got Goodyear's on the back too. A little worn, but still not too bad. You got the carbon fiber wrap on the gas tank as well. Carbon fiber wrap on the wing. Overall, the car does not look bad at all. She's gonna need a little bit of work, but nothing we can't handle. It's got some aftermarket burnt titanium looking exhaust that wrap on the on the wing honestly that carbon wrap needs to come off in my opinion okay not too shabby guys not too shabby it's got some miles on it she's a little rough interior wise though not too bad not too bad at all Headliner, oh, it's got those, those purple. Ugh, I don't like that. You can see that crack in the windshield a lot better now, hopefully. Runs all the way over there, it's uh, quite a bit. So she's gonna need a windshield. Let's push the clutch in, clutch feels good. Not too shabby, I, I like this, honestly. I bet this thing gets crazy gas mileage. <laughs> I bet it does. What is this, a robot walking down the street? What? <laughs> is this a boot up screen for the Civic? No way. <laughs> okay. I, I kind of like that. I kind of I kind of like that. Electronic parking brake. Low tire pressure, so we probably have a bad TPMS sensor. Okay, Park, parking brake works. Let's check the clutch. 
Ooh. <laughs> she needs a clutch. She needs a clutch. That's all the way out and we're barely moving. All the way out and it's barely moving. Yeah, the clutch won't even stall it. Look at this. I'll put it in first gear and I'll let off the clutch and I'm holding the brake. All right, watch. Yeah, that clutch is totally dead in this. Air conditioning was ice cold. We'll go ahead and pop the hood. I'm willing to do a clutch on this. That doesn't bother me. This thing has a tiny transmission. It's getting to where though it needs quite a bit of work, not only cosmetic, but now it needs mechanical work as well. Let's see how difficult a clutch would be on this car. I don't think it's gonna be that bad. And it won't be expensive. Aftermarket cold air intake. I suppose that's what that's supposed to be. There's the trans. Doesn't look like there's a lot in the way. You got a charge pipe right here you gotta move. Some coolant hoses that you can get around. Tiny transmission, there's your trans mount. This looks relatively easy, guys. Might possibly have to drop the subframe just a hair to slide it out. Yeah, I'm gonna watch this one. We're gonna see what the price goes for on this. Let me put this on my list on my phone here so I don't lose it. But this is one I'm actually interested in bringing to the channel. Next to it, we got a 2015 Honda Civic that looks like a hybrid, but I don't see any hybrid badges on it. The giveaway are those wheels. I'm fairly certain this is a hybrid. It's got 104, almost 105,000 miles on it. This one actually looks to be in much better shape than the SI, but at the end of the day, I would rather roll around in an SI, although I wouldn't complain about the fuel economy savings of a hybrid. Maybe I'm wrong and this is not a hybrid. You got the key instead of push to start. She fired right up. Needs to be detailed a little bit, but it's not too bad. Interior doesn't smell bad. Low brake fluid. Check tire pressure. Traction control. Brakes feel good. Goes into gear just fine. Backward. Forward. Check VSA system. She sounds decent. Important window, less important window. Check power steering, check hill start. Boy, she's got she's got some issues. Steering feels fine. These are all things that are probably minor. Service pass due A12 by 593 miles. This is not a hybrid, can't be a hybrid, but it looked like it had hybrid wheels. Make sure everything's in park here. I'm gonna pop the trunk on this one real quick. I'm actually kind of interested in this one, but what is this? Speaker wire running under the trunk cover. All right, well, I know that this is probably the better car. <laughs> the other one is in pretty rough shape. <sighs> this thing's just, this is solid. She's a solid runner. A little bit older, not by much, only a couple years. Body's in great shape, tire's in great shape. Do a full walk around real quick. She looks good, she runs good. I don't know though, guys. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm kind of torn because I think this one is probably gonna be the better deal. Uh, this one, I know Brian at the Auto Spa can handle that wrap. He could remove that. I know Los Primos Auto Glass can get that windshield taken care of for me. Whatever all of the wires are under glow lights, we will rip all of that out. I don't. We don't need any of that, guys. We'll bring it back to looking stock again. Fix up the front end a little bit. I, I like this car. I don't know. You guys comment below and tell me what you think. And I know it needs a clutch, but I really don't mind. After doing clutches, or sorry, after doing transmissions on Monkey Wrench Mike's F-150 and my Mustang, I, I'm kind of ready for a transmission that's small and lightweight. It's relatively easy to replace. I don't mind throwing a transmission that that car is probably going to go cheap because of the mechanical and cosmetic damage. This will probably go for a little bit 
that one will probably still go for more than this one. But this one to me is just not all that interesting. I would rather have something like this on the channel and let's see if we can bring this one back to life. Now, if anybody has any clue what Exeter is or Ex Exeter, Exeter, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Let me know, I've never heard of it before. Might be a finance company. A lot of these could be repossessions that are coming up for auction. Uh, obviously it's a big company. They put the big name companies on this side and they put the stickers on them so you know where they're coming from. They're very transparent at this auction. It's one of the things I love about it. They are very transparent about things being wrong, cosmetically, or mechanically, they do a great job representing their vehicles here. So I really, really, really feel confident buying from here. You guys may remember I purchased the Chevy Lumina. It wasn't pretty, but I got that Lumina for $400 from here. And then we gave it away for free to somebody that was in need. We also purchased my Humvee. You guys may remember that military Humvee. We purchased that from here too, and we drove it home. So even though I've only bought a couple things from here, I think I'm going to start buying a few more items from here. I feel a lot more confident about buying from this place. And I think the best part is, you know that if you purchase it from here for a set price, a certain price, I should say, you can probably run it back through the auction and at least get that price back. And if you make it better than it was when you bought it, you might actually be able to God forbid, make a profit. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to get too excited. But I am, I am really thinking about buying some of my content cars for the channel from here and Mannheim as well. Now, you'd be surprised how many cars are sitting here today are actually already on Mannheim's website. Yeah, yeah. A lot of the cars sitting here are on Mannheim. Now, I don't know if this one runs and drives. It's obviously dead as a doornail, but I want to take a closer look at it. The interior is very dirty very very dirty these could be trade-ins these could be repossessions I, I don't know the history and we're not going to know if it runs unless we just fire it up i guess we'll put a jump on it see what it does you've got the tanu cover on the back no bed liner on the inside tailgate works that's good tires are in average condition they're okay they're usable we'll pop the hood real quick I'm sure she's got a 5.7 Hemi under the hood. It's not a bad looking truck. It really isn't. A little cosmetically challenged, but we don't mind that around here. Let's take a look up here. What does it say? It says it's a 5.7, just like I expected it to be. There's that good old Hemi V8. Let's throw a jump on this thing real quick and let's see what it does. All right, let's see what it does. Hopefully it runs. This will probably go for pretty cheap. She's rough. She's rough, but I don't I don't mind rough vehicles. Yeah, she runs. I knew she would. I knew she would. That does not close. There we go. Got an aftermarket stereo in here. Air conditioning. It's not even all the way cold, but I can feel it. Hey, AC works great. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Check the windows. Dark tint. Important window works. Less important window works. Good oil pressure. Good voltage. TPMS light is the only light on currently. Does she go backwards and forwards? Backwards. And forwards. All right, I had to interrupt that video for a minute. Copart was calling me. So, air conditioning works. She goes backwards. She goes forwards. Sounds like it runs pretty good. Sounds fine to me, guys. Oh, it's 4x4. I didn't even realize that. 4x4 auto. Let's see if it engages. There's a light down there. Yes, it does. 4x4 lock. We are in four-wheel drive high now. And then back to two-wheel drive. Yeah. Okay, look, it, it's a little dirty, it's a little rough. Not too bad though, guys, not too bad. I could deal with this, depending on how much it goes for. So this one is also going on our list. We'll see what happens because auction day is tomorrow. Next, this one may look familiar. 
or similar. I had a F-350 Dually recently from this generation. This is a 2004 F-350 with 255,000 miles on the odometer. I'm willing to bet this one goes cheap. It is not a diesel. It's the Triton V10. So very, very likely this is going to go cheap. Somebody just put some new tires on this bad boy, man. It's a long bed. It's the crew cab. Aside from a bunch of, you know, junk in the bed. Hey, it's free of charge, guys. Free of charge. You may find out some of this stuff might be worth something. Um, plus, it's fun to do a clean-out video because you never know what you're going to get. You got the tow hitch. You got the seven pin. It was a work truck. It is, it's rough. It's very rough. Paint, body, this door is completely smashed in. Not a big deal, though. How hard is it to go buy a door? Oh, <laughs> this got to be a repo. I'm just guessing. I'm just guessing. This is probably a repo. Got your, your Swisher Sweets. Is that poop? Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. You got some white powder. You've got dirty diapers. Oh, dude. No. No. Oh, wow. Yeah. I got an eye for the good ones, guys. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not even kidding. I got an eye for the good ones. Ooh, it's got a key too. Let's turn all this off for a minute. Let, <laughs> cracked windshield. She's she's pretty rough, man. She could be brought back to life though, depending on how it, it runs, I should say. We'll, we'll figure that out first. Brakes feel good. Oh, they chopped the cat. They chopped the cat. Yeah, ain't that a shame. Now, somebody gave up on this old girl is what they did. Check engine light is on, but she started without a jump. It's out of gas. Oil pressure's good. Oh, man. Important window works. Less important window works. This would be a good giveaway truck, don't you think? Monkey Wrench Mike needs another Ford. Reverse. Reverse and drive. Yep. Steering feels good. AC, I'm gonna bet does not blow cold. Let's pop the hood. Make sure that sucker's in park there. Let's turn it off. Let's let's just turn it off. <laughs> you guys will never be able to hear me. Uh Man, honestly, she is pretty rough. She's got hail damage too, but aside from that back door being crunched, it's really not that bad looking of a truck. This would be a great, this would be a great work truck for somebody, man. It really would. And I, I just got a hunch that this one's probably not gonna, ooh, she tried to cut me. She tried to cut me. You gotta watch this delaminating stuff right here, man, because it will rip you to shreds if you're not careful so typically these v10s they're pretty notorious for shooting out spark plugs uh this one seems to be running good though it sounds like it's running on all cylinders check engine light was not flashing that's a good sign she's full of coolant trans fluid is looks pretty dang good it's red it's very nice it's 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 a dark red so probably time for a service, but nothing too, nothing too crazy. Let's check the oil real quick. I'm sure the oil's black as night. It is not. It's brown. It's dirty. Needs to be replaced. All right. This is, uh, honestly, this might be what I like to call a diamond in the rough. It really could. This could be one that looks rough, but like mechanically is not a bad vehicle. She does have some miles on her and she does have some body damage. But if you can look past all of that, man, this is not not a horrible truck. And like I said, it comes with all this free stuff. It'd be a great landscaping truck. Be great for somebody that's doing mowing, weed eating, painting. I mean, really, this truck is good for just about anything. And I'd be willing to bet 
she's not gonna go for a lot of money because of how much nastiness is inside of it. So I'm gonna keep my eye on this one because you know we specialize in the ones that nobody wants. We're gonna make this the last on our list, guys. You know how I love this generation of the Grand Cherokee? Well, here one is. And this one's kind of interesting because I notice down here, it's got a hole and over here it has another one with a connector for lights, which means this was pulled behind probably an RV. I also noticed down here, it's got a little radar right there. So this is not bad looking. This is a 2012 with 106,000 miles. Hopefully this one has the V8. We'll pop the hood here in a second check. Good tires so far. Yep, 5.7 Hemi. 4x4 Overland Edition. I like this. I like this a lot. Let's take a peek at the interior. Ooh, it's a Jeep thing right here, guys. Okay, so the interior looks nice, and I love this color. I love this color. But you see the dashboard right here is peeling up a little bit. All over there, she's peeled up pretty bad. But that's not too uncommon with Jeeps. It's fired up. That start didn't sound very healthy, did it? Let's turn this off. Let's turn that off. The heater is on max. Let's turn that down. And we'll turn that fan down too so it doesn't drown out my talking here. Let's kick on AC and see if it works. We have all of our little programs here for snow, sport, auto, sand, mud, rock, up and down, air suspension, and We'll bring it down some and see if it works. I notice we have a traction control light on and we had a service four, yeah, service four wheel drive light on right there. We'll bring her all the way down and let's see if the air suspension works like it's supposed to. The service four wheel drive, man, that could be a number of things. It could just be a faulty sensor of some sort. I'm not overly concerned with that. I'm not feeling air conditioning. There it is, there we go. Took it a while, man, but there we go. AC works. You've got this massive panoramic roof. Absolutely beautiful. We'll go ahead and, I guess you gotta open it all the way. Oh, no, 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 no. Close it. <laughs> now close that too. Great. Well, I don't know how to close it. There we go. I guess you gotta hold it down the whole time. All right, brakes feel good. Steering feels good. Important window works. Less important window works. We already said that the air conditioning works as well. Very nice. Tow haul mode. You got your heated steering wheel. Very nice. Um, we're going to leave this alone. Reverse. Yes. Drive. Yes. She should be in her lowest mode. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Let's take a look at the outside. I got so excited we jumped right in. You've got a trailer brake right here as well. So that's nice. Pop the hood. I like this color. I really like this color. This one doesn't need a whole lot of cleaning or anything. Like this is nice. This one is nice. A few issues with the four x four or whatever, but look, even the hatch opens on its own. WeatherTech floor mats. That's nice as well. Clean those up, throw them back in, even back here. Yeah, I'm I'm really liking this. This one, I don't see a button. So I'm wondering if you just kind of pull down and she closes herself. No? Oh, button's right there. No? Okay, that's fine. I, I don't mind doing it. Tow hitch. You got multiple connectors back there. The body looks to be in great shape with good tires. Wheels look nice. Headlights could use a cleaning. Aside from that, not too shabby. There's that 5.7 Hemi. Tried and true, man. Purrs like a kitten. Too quiet, though, in my opinion. That's just me, though. Too quiet. All right. Supposedly, she's lowered down to her lowest setting. The next thing I want to check on this is raising it up. Let's bring her up. I can already feel it coming up. 
yeah, I think the air suspension works like it's supposed to, guys. Let's bring it up again. We'll bring it up to its highest position. We'll get out and we'll take a look, see how high it goes. Yeah, I like this. I like, I like this. This would be great for going out and playing in the mud and the rocks. Off-road level one, and we're gonna go up one more. So it should be maximum off-road capabilities right here. Oh, wow. I can feel it. <laughs> okay, I think we have reached maximum ride height here, guys. This thing's gonna look absolutely ridiculous. All right, here we go. Oh, wow. No way. Instant lift kit. Instant lift kit. Look how high that thing sits. Man, it looks like she's ready for some mudders, man. Yeah, you could put some mud boggers on this bad boy, except that the 4x4 doesn't work. But look at, look at that. All the way around. So, air suspension works like it should. I like it. I think I'm going to put it on my list, guys. This is one I'm interested in. Uh, see what I mean? Somebody accidentally left this open. Just put it back there and make sure no rain or anything gets in it and messes something up. All right, guys, I think this is the last one. We are done. So if you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button and drop a comment and tell me which car you like the best. The two that I am most interested in today in this video. Well, there's three. I really, I like three of them, but there's no way I'm going to buy all of them because I still have an entire yard full of cars to walk through, guys. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to jump into everything I find at the beginning, you know. So the Honda Civic SI. I really, really want that. I think it's good for content. And I think it's a great car that can make some money once we, once we repair it. Next, I really like that Ram pickup truck. The black Ram that we looked at. I, I think that's... Or the F350. The F350, because it's so nasty and dirty, that thing could make some money if we cleaned it up. I'm also really liking this Jeep. So I'm kind of torn, and I really did like that Ram pickup truck too. I've, I've got four cars we just started, and I've got four cars, and I'm very confused about which ones I want. But if I was put on the spot right now and I had to make a decision, the Civic Si, absolutely, and the F350. That's what I would do because I think those two are the best for content. They should be cheap, and they should be able to resell for something. I don't know. You guys comment below. Maybe I'm just an idiot.